Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the MSI Sword 17 HX-B14V. To open this gaming machine, you need to undo 13 Phillips head screws. With that out of the way, a tiny gap is revealed on the back, between the bottom plate and the base. So, first, we have to pop the rear. All internal clips feel super stiff, and you have to push much, much harder than usual with the thin prying tool. The bottom panel also seems thin and spongy, especially around the ventilation grill, so don't bend it too much because you can break it. After that, pry the sides and the front. The audio jack on the left and the two ports on the right slightly stick out of the motherboard, and you can't just simply raise the plate up without scratching it on the inside. Elevate the right side, slide the panel to the left, and lift it away from the chassis. The battery is a 65-watt-hour unit. To take it out, pull out the connector from the main board and undo the four Phillips head screws that keep the unit in place. The capacity is enough for around 6 hours of web browsing or 4 hours of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the balanced preset in the MSI Center. Also, the integrated graphics mode has to be turned on in order to use the iGPU, and the balance mode should be selected in the BIOS in the User Scenario section. The balanced preset is also activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu, and the Adaptive Sync Plus option is turned on in the Intel Graphics Command Center. The RAM section is covered by a metal cap that has a rubber element in the middle that also makes contact with the bottom plate for better internal structural support. You can pop the shroud with a lever tool. According to MSI, the two SODIMs fit up to 96 GB of DDR5, 5600 MHz RAM in dual-channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 192 GB, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. Storage-wise, you get two M.2 slots, one for Gen 4 and one for Gen 5 SSDs. There is a thick thermal pad in front of both NVMe slots. The Cooler Boost 5 system is huge. It has a pair of fans, four heat sinks, and four heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU. The fifth pipe is solely dedicated to the video card. The thermal solution also offers two cooling plates that are different in size. The big one on the left is for the GPU, and it also makes contact with the chipset. 